For today's project, we're going to need a tape measure, box cutter, level, two large crescent wrenches, 30 solid center blocks, 4mm Allen key, and a set of gloves. Start by inserting the front axle through the base unit, then install each wheel spacer followed by the two front wheels. Next, thread both axle hex nuts on and install the cotter pin as shown. Next, we are going to assemble the rear wheels. Place one flat washer on the hex bolt. Next, thread this through the base unit and then install the first steel wheel spacer. Next, install the rear wheel. Then install the second wheel spacer and push the bolt all the way through. To finish, place the last flat washer on the bolt and tighten the hex nut down. Next, we're going to assemble the weight box. Start by placing the front wall of the box into place and bolting one of the side walls on. Next, install the rear wall and the last side wall. It is best to not tighten all of these bolts until all four sides are put together. Now it is time to add the counterweight into the weight box. This step calls for 30 solid concrete blocks that measure 4 by 8 by 16 inches. Start by adding two rows of blocks totaling 12. Then install the weight divider. The weight divider is designed to keep 12 blocks in the weight box at all times. Place the remaining 18 blocks into the weight box. The weight box can be locked for safety as well. Next, mount the main pole to the base using the four bolts, nuts, and washers provided. Then bolt the main pole supports ensuring to not tighten the bolts until all four are in place. Next, we're going to mount the main extension arm and actuator, also known as the crank. Place the extension arm over the top of the main pole and install the bolt nut. Then, while holding the main extension arm in place, install the actuator. Next, bolt the top of your spring assist into place and adjust the system up or down to line up the bottom bolt holes. You might also need to twist the spring assist left or right to line these holes up. Once installed, you can adjust the system down to relieve the pressure off the blue spacer and remove it. 
Next, install your two upper linkage arms to the main pole. Now we're ready to mount the backboard. We recommend having three to four capable adults to assist. Start by bolting the main extension arm to the backboard, then pivot the backboard up and bolt the upper linkage arms onto the backboard. Next, we'll install the rim. Start by inserting the four rim spacers into the backboard. Next, bolt the rim to the backboard only, tightening finger tight so that you can level the rim. Once level, you can tighten all four bolts and install the rim plate. Next, install both front levelers and then the front leveler feet on the bottom. Then install both rear levelers and the rear leveler feet. Next, bolt the main pole padding onto the pole using the provided bolts and washers. Lastly, you can install the height meter and sticker by raising the system to exactly 10 feet. Don't forget to level the base and raise it up on the leveler feet. Then hook your steel height meter on and place the sticker so that the height meter is pointing at exactly 10 feet. Now roll your bear into place and start playing. 